having the ability to bring all your heads of department into the conversation about finances, especially from a budgeting perspective and forecasting, is forward thinking and progressive. I think there is a reality and I'm really keen to hear what you've got to say, David, hints and tips about how uh, you can empower general managers. So what would you advise uh, general managers to do to break the silos down? Well, the best way you can do anything is to get um, as many hands involved. And my mother used to say, you know, many hands make light work. And when it comes to the budget or the forecast, if I'm that uh, housekeeper and I actually put together my budget and my forecast and I battle my way through that and it gets approved at the end of the budget cycle and then next year, every month, I'm responsible for delivering on the forecast, the rolling forecast, then I have ownership around that. But if someone just does the numbers in a silo and gives them to me, I'm kind of like this when it comes to you know, my my buy-in and my uh, stake in that game. And um, that's the mistake that so many owners and uh, managers make is they make up the numbers and they give them to the team and they expect them to own them and deliver and it never works. So get the department managers involved from the very beginning, get them to battle their way through creating their budgets, getting them approved. They'll learn a lot about what's going to fly and what's not going to fly. And then, um, then they've got some, some, um, some stake in what's happening.